ionization of water and I wouldn't mind just taking a little minute and doing what I call little side notes the video itself will catch up you know it just has this little delay at the beginning and you'll start to see it work when we look at the auto ionization of water it's just thinking about one water molecule hitting another water molecule and bombarding together to create an acid and a base ion so thinking about that chemistry we have the H3O plus times the OH minus, we consider that the acid and the base ion set equal to what we call the ion product constant for water. And that word constant is a number. That KW value is always 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. We also did a little manipulation of each of those and take the negative log of each. If we took the negative log of the hydronium ion, plus the negative log of the hydroxide ion, we get something called the negative log of the KW. And I just remember saying the relationship between pH and pOH is that they always give me 14. So every one of these in objective two relates somehow back to the basis of the pH scale and the ion product constant for water. If I know hydronium ion, I can easily pull out hydroxide ion by just setting up a relationship that their product always is 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. If I know pH, I can readily find pOH just by knowing the sum always gives me 14. So objective 2 is always dealing with this relationship between pH, pOH, and the ion product constant for water. In our first series of questions, we're given the hydroxide ion concentration and are being asked to solve for the acid, the hydrogen ion. And then based on those values, we'll decide if our solution is acidic, basic, or neutral, knowing that the greater number will determine the acidity of our solution. And it looks like in the second series, we're doing the exact opposite. So again, Kw is a constant we can find that ratio of just knowing the base ion and the acid ion and their product will always be 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. I do not need to see any work at all. It's all really done on our calculator. So to model for our first example, and please hit with me just to be sure we're getting common answers. I don't want to upload a wrong answer, so I'm looking for some calculator buddies. I'm going to hit my ion product constant for water, 1E negative 14. And I'll divide that by the given hydroxide ion, 0 0.00045. And Jaron, would you be my first calculator buddy, seeing if we get a common answer? What did you find for H plus? All right, well, that's why I have a buddy, because of, I often make mistakes with the calculator, and I just like to have someone check my work. 0 0.00045. Let's see. Is it matching? Great. All right, thank you. So to the negative 11th, it does have a unit. It's going to have a big M after it for molarity. And then to decide if it's acidic, basic, or neutral, I'm going to decide if it's the acid ion or the base ion that I have a larger number for. And Kayla, if I compare 0, 0, 0, 00045 to a number with the 11th negative power, which one is a larger value? It is actually a bigger number. That's a whole lot of zeros in front of a 2 with this number. Since I have more base ion in terms of concentration, my solution will be basic. Now, I often see people just circle, and that's fine, too. I'll just put a letter B on that line so you know that we decided it was basic. Casey, let's hit for the second one together. And if you already have it, let me hit it out. 1e negative 14th divided by 8.8 .8 times 10 to the negative 9th power. Oops. And what did you find? Awesome. It's a match. And that has a unit after it. We'll put big M for molarity. And Nate, looking at those two numbers, the larger of the two will determine if it's acidic, basic, or neutral. What do we have more in terms of concentration? 
Excellent. Yep, hydrogen ion is the larger number. It's definitely acidic. Same problems. We're just given the other concentration, but it's the same calculator key sequence. Troy, let's hit this together and see if we get a common answer. What did you find? Not bad. Oh, I'll hit again. 1e negative 14 divide by. Yeah, oh, I did. Thank you. I was doing problem 4. Oh, Linda, Linda. 0 0.0075. Is that a match? That's Thank you. As a matter of fact, heck, why don't I take both my answers? Number three, I found 1.3 times 10 to the negative 12 molar units. And number four, we hit twice, 1.14 times 10 to the negative 9th molar units. Taylor, let's back up to problem three and decide what do I have more of in terms of concentration? Will my solution be acidic, basic, or neutral? Excellent. And Alex, how about in problem number four, comparing the size of the number, would this solution look acidic, basic, or neutral? Excellent. A series of questions where the ion product constant of water is used to derive the missing concentration. We'll decide based on the quantity, the, the magnitude of the number, the acidity or basicity of our solution. One more in this series of problems, and it's filling out a grid. This came directly from a homework problem we had worked before. Notice I have a column of pH, pOH, H plus bracket, OH minus bracket, and then the letter A or B for acid or base. And I say it may come out neutral, but I didn't do that on purpose. Given one value, we easily can find the others. So if I have pH, I can readily find pOH, and Courtney will do that together by simply doing a 14 minus relationship. 14 minus the pH, just share with me what you find. Excellent, I did too. So again, pH plus the pOH always give 14. So those first two columns, just know together they'll add to 14. You'll have one or the other and can derive them. Some other relationships we might find helpful. If I want the hydrogen ion value, I know it's 10 raised to the negative pH power. And in the same relationship, hydroxide ion can tend to the negative pH. OH power. So kind of seeing the relationship of how I would use one to derive the other. Erin, let's hit for the H plus bracket, that concentration, and I would do it simply by raising 10 raised to the power of negative pH. And just hit with me to be sure I've got a correct answer. Ten raised to the negative four point seven five. See, I need calculator, buddies. Thank you. One point seven eight times ten to the negative fifth, and that's a molar unit. Marissa, let's hit together. Lord knows I'm needing calculator help today. Ten raised to the negative p o h, and let's just be sure we're getting a common answer. 10 raised to the negative 9.25, if I hit that correctly. Excellent, thank you. And that's a big M for molarity. Now, Nicole, there's several correct ways to decide if my solution is acidic or basic. I could compare the magnitude of the acid and base ion in terms of the size of the number and see which one's larger. Or maybe even easier, I look at the pH column. If it's below 7 acid, above 7 base, right at 7 could be neutral. So you've got a couple of ways. Is our solution acidic, basic, or neutral? It is indeed. Good work. Row 2 says, here I now have pOH. Emily, let's do that 14 minus trick and pull out the pH, knowing the pOH. And just share when you find it. 
Yay, me too. Alrighty. Pedro, let's hit together just to be sure we get the same answer for H positive, the bracket. I'm going to do that by raising 10 raised to the negative pH. It is great. Thank you for confirming. 2.45 times 10 to the negative ninth molar units. Brett, let's hit together for using pOH to pull out hydroxide. Excellent, thank you. And based on that decision, Kayla, does that solution look acidic, basic, or neutral? Excellent. Yep, pH above 7, always a base. Row 3, the information provided now is hyd hydrogen ion. Well, if I know hydrogen ion, I can simply negative log and I can pull out pH. From pH, I can readily find pOH with the little 14 minus trick and so forth. So if given the hydrogen ion column is where I'm starting, I'd flip that to pH first. Jaren, let's hit together for the pH of our solution, taking negative log of the given number. Did you say 3.21? Me too. Alrighty, thank you, sir. And nice work with the two decimal thing. Casey, flipping that to pOH with the 14 minus trick. Excellent. Nate, let's do 10 raised to the negative pOH to pull out hydrogen ions constant or hydroxide ion concentration. Thank you. It's a match. And Troy, would that solution be acidic, basic, or neutral? Excellent. The last row gives us OH negative concentration. Perhaps the easiest place to start is taking the negative log and finding pOH, and from there we can flip easily around. And Taylor, let's hit together to be sure I'm doing it correctly. Negative log of the OH negative. All right, great. Thank you for confirming. 8.51 is pOH coming from hydroxide. Alex, let's 14 minus that value to flip it to pH and just share what you find. Thank you. 10 raised to the negative pH. Courtney, let's hit that together and see what we find for H plus value. Awesome. Big M for molar units. And Aaron, one more thing before our A plus. An acid, base, or neutral. You got it. Good work. Someday soon, I'm thinking next Wednesday, uh, A plus or 25 points on that objective. Let me pause the video here and get that started and just give you a little music time. Digest what we've just done. <laughs>